everybody, Clint here with Classic Firearms out here today at Take Aim Training and Range. And we've got one of those surplus Carcanos with us today, one of the Calvary models you just don't see a whole lot of here, especially on what's being offered today. And I'm excited to shoot it for the first time a, a couple of times here on camera. I've got a couple of rounds, a couple of clips loaded up. Yes, those are clips that you see here. We'll talk more about that here in just a moment though. But a little bit about this rifle, guys. Matt and I did an unveil video when these finally hit the deck at our warehouse. And something I actually want to clarify really quick. I mentioned in there that these haven't been refurbished or any type of thing. I meant once they hit the United States. Of course, some of them still have the stock cartouches from maybe Arsenal refinishing things like that prior to importation. But just wanted to clarify that, guys, so there's no confusion there. All right, now these clips are pretty cool in how they work. Uh, so you'll see that the rounds themselves will stack right on top of each other that you see. So easy enough to load and they stay pretty well in place. I will say that they don't offer quite as much tension or you know stay in place as well as like the in block clip for the M1 Garand. Uh, however, I think this is probably well enough, especially once you hear them kind of like click into place. They're like, okay, all right, maybe, maybe you won't be going anywhere. I would be a little concerned about that if I was an Italian soldier, you know, uh, <laughs> with this guy, um, you know, in the early 1900s, but I don't think we really have to worry about that today. Again, like I said too, this is the Calvary model. So you'll notice that this guy's got this long, spiked bay bayonet on it. And how cool is that thing there? Let's go ahead and load up one of these clips here. Let's just take a couple of shots with it and shoot it. I will say this though, it's a little dirty in here. I did spray some ballistol in here just to try to hopefully make it a little bit more smooth. And one thing that's supposed to happen after you shoot this guy, once you chamber the last round, the clip is supposed to fall free right down here. Hopefully it's nice and slick enough for it to do that. Let's give it a couple of shots and see how this guy does. And just clip, clip it right into place. All right, let's take a couple of shots here with Mr. Hand Select. Nice, oh yeah, let's see here. It really just throws those rounds too, that, that brass, that is cool. And this thing just feels super good too, guys. I mean, it's a light recoiling gun for what it is too. And by the way, the 6.5 cartridge, uh, this is 6.5 Carcano, looks pretty similar to the 6.5 Creedmoor, if you ask me. Let's do it again here. Nice, and my bayonet's staying in place. Yes, it is, very cool. Let's just keep on going. Yeah, that is rocking Mr. Hand Select back and forth too. All right, should have a couple more here. Very cool, man. And let's see, now this looks like the last round here. So let's see if that clip drops free. Yes, it does. How cool is that? There you go, now it's dirty. So now it probably won't drop as free. <laughs> let's take my final shot here. Nice. Oh man, now how cool is that all around i just think this is just such a sweet little setup and uh yeah matt and i of course talked about this guy a little bit on the unveil video and he gives a little bit more history about it matt you know he's a blessing to us here at classic firearms because he just knows so much about all these different firearms it's pretty cool he did show me too that this guy actually has like a clip release on it now granted like i said this thing needs to be cleaned i'll go ahead and admit that so what you'll see is there's a little button right here and when actuated, once you have a clip in here, it's supposed to kind of throw them out. So you'll notice the follower right here pushes those rounds up. And then of course, when you chamber it, that pushes the round forward into the chamber, locks it down, pull the trigger, go boom. And then that's pretty much your cycle of operation, right? After extracting. So very cool stuff. So I'm curious, so it might be clean enough to try here. Let's go ahead and load up one more clip here. And let's say I take one more shot, all right? Very cool. Throws that one out. Let's see. Let's see if I can get it here. It might be under too much tension. I think so. Let's just try another one. Let's see if I can loosen it up some. Really, I'm just finding an excuse to pull the trigger on it again because it is pretty nice. Let's see. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> and I caught it. There we go. So yeah, so it just throws those rounds right back at you there. So pretty cool how that works. So of course, if you're wanting to unload it, you know, and instead of having to chamber each round, you know, one at a time, you're good at just hitting that button and throwing it out. Now granted, like I said, cleaning this guy up some uh, probably wouldn't be a bad idea. And it might be a little bit smoother to operate, but overall a heck of a lot of fun. 
man. And such cool rifles too. Like I said, this is the Calvary model, uh, which came out just a few years later than, uh, or yeah, I think it was just a few years later after the introduction of the 1891. I think it was 1893 that the Calvary model came out and that is just pretty neat stuff. Again, I just want Ryan to kind of take a look at this guys. This is one that we just kind of pulled right off the top. Uh, just to show you guys what to expect on some of these. These are surplus rifles, so don't expect perfection, all right? Uh, yes, some of them may have been refinished at some point in time uh, overseas before prior to importation, but that doesn't mean uh, that you're getting a perfect rifle. However, as you can see here, the one I just pulled out and everything seems to be shooting just fine. Of course, I haven't done any type of accuracy testing or anything like that. Um, I'm at a 25 yard range and from the impact that I can see on Mr. Hand Select, I see the little black dot showing up on the white paint. I at least know I'm hitting my target, so I'm happy about that, right? The very cool stuff, guys. And uh, we also have them with different types of actions as far as the bayonet goes. Some of them has the little lever locking in place. This one right here is just a simple push button. You'll see right now it's locked into place, not going anywhere. But the moment I press this button and pull forward, it's now unlocked and you'll see it swings free. I bring it back and then just move it back into its locked position and now it's not going anywhere. Very cool stuff, man. And like I said, this is the Calvary model. So the original 1891 was a little bit longer than this, 1891 Carcano. Uh, and as you can imagine, being a Calvary mounted soldier, you would need something a little bit more uh, I guess you could say versatile and easy to maneuver on horseback and that's why they shortened it a little bit and then they added this longer spiked bayonet. So pretty cool stuff. Yeah, definitely a lot of fun on this. And uh, by the way, just remember to lock that back into place. Very easy to disassemble with this guy. Um, once the bolt is back, all you do is pull the trigger and the bolt comes out. And in fact, I don't think that's too big of a violation. I'll do it like this here. Boom, there you go. YouTube can't get too mad, I don't think, at that one. So now you can see just your internals right there. Pretty cool. You should be able to see that follower showing up pretty well right there if I get my fingers out of the way. And then the hole at the bottom of the receiver here where your clip will drop free. Well, you know, hopefully it drops free. It should just, you know, fall right on through in there and yeah probably easier to do once you actually have rounds in it there it goes <laughs> these things are too much fun i'm like a kid in a candy store every day i come to work and i'm sitting here just playing with these things uh, all sorts of different stuff that we get in and i was thoroughly impressed with some of these Carcanos, especially at the price, guys. If you're looking for affordable surplus, affordable surplus rifle to get into, uh, definitely take a look at these. I don't think you'll be disappointed. All right, let's go ahead and lock that guy back down. Easy enough. The other thing I wanna show you guys too is the safety on it. You'll notice right now it is cocked where you see it here. The safety on this guy is this paddle right here. And let me go ahead and push that without moving the bolt around. You'll notice now it's on safe. Nothing's gonna happen there. Pushing that back forward and locking it down. And now you'll notice it'll go just like that. Pretty cool stuff. Easy operations on these guys. And uh, I definitely recommend, again, if you're looking to get into the surplus came and you don't know exactly where to start, check out some pretty cool Italian surplus like this Calvary model Carcano. I think you guys would uh, enjoy it quite a bit. All right, I think I'm gonna leave it off there. Again, we've got the uh, clips here that are just kind of neat in how they work. If I can get that round out of there, I was talking about maybe not securing the round in there, but that guy did not want to come free. So pretty sweet on how those work as well. Just good historic firearms. Always love it when we get things like this in. Pretty neat stuff. All right, now speaking of historic firearms, let's talk about something a little bit modern. And I'm talking about our current giveaway. This little guy is the Salient SAI Glock 19-21 Tier 1. They've got so many different names for it. I don't know, but it's pretty sweet, guys. We threw on a uh, Trijicon RMR on it, Surefire X300 Lite, because why not? We want to give you something that's uh, pretty sweet and decked out, so I figured anywhere I could throw an accessory, let's do it. And that's pretty much what we did. And uh, I'm curious to see, you know, how this thing shoots, like I don't already know. Uh, if you do want to shoot, see this guy in some pretty sweet action and some cool edits by Ryan, go check out our unveil video of this guy being our current giveaway. Let's give a couple of shots here on Mr. Hand Select. Why not? Ooh, man, that feels good. Yeah, I couldn't help but 
do that. I needed to do that. All right, guys, this is our current giveaway. Again, Salient Arms International Tier 1 19 platform. I think you guys are going to like this one quite a bit. Head on over to classicfirearms.com to get those entries. Click on that top banner. It's going to take you to the next page that shows you all the different links to get your entries. And don't forget to refer your friends. Refer your friends. And if your friends aren't using referral links, Go find new friends, all right? All right, I'm leaving it off there, guys. God bless you all. Check out the Carcanos that we've got in stock. We'll see you next time at classicfirearms.com.